Thanks, bud. Bo made such a good point. When you're doing God's work, Satan's going to try everything he can to attack. He's going to try everything he can to take you away from what it is that you're trying to do for God. That's his whole job. His whole job is to be a divider. He wants to divide you from your brothers and your sisters. He wants to divide you from your church. He wants to divide you from your friends. And he's going to use everything possible to make that happen. It could be your health. It can be your finances. This is one of my proudest days to stand at this church. Because as soon as we saw... Then my brother and my mentor was sick. We attacked with prayer. That's how you're supposed to do it. And that's what I want to talk about right now. I want to talk about how to attack those situations. And guys, I need y'all to understand something. You have got to have that Godfidence, not confidence, that Godfidence to put Satan back below your feet. You've got to put him back in his place. Because here's the thing, guys. Let me get this out of the way. He has zero authority over you. Zero. You've got to get that in your head and in your thoughts. He has no authority not only over you. He has no authority over your home, your children, your job, your business, your finances, your friends and your mentors. He has no authority over that. You can walk in that kind of confidence. You have that authority. That's what we're supposed to do. Don't sit back and let Satan attack. You attack the situation. And that's what we did today. I have no doubt. I just walked outside and our two security guards were standing out there. And they said, what happened? And I said, it's fine. It's taken care of. I said, he had a little faint spell. But I'm telling you right now, he's fine. I have no doubt right now he's on his way over there and he's fine. And he's going to be fine. I have no doubt in my mind. I'm going to ask you a question. Do you have the same confidence that I have right now? That's my question. If you don't, it's okay. Sometimes you're not quite there on your walk. But I'm going to tell you right now at this church, we just set the perfect example of what we're going to teach. Healing is real. Miracles are real. Spiritual gifts are real. The people that say that it died with the with the the disciples if that's the case. It's a lie from Satan. Thank you, Mikey. You're absolutely right. If that's the case, the miracles died with the disciples. How are we standing here today? We had somebody at Bible study a few weeks ago that, that mentioned about how he hasn't seen healing yet. I know some of you in this room have not seen that. If you stick around at this church, you're going to see it. It takes one time to see it. Ball game. You'll be good from there. One time.
God gave us instruction on how to defeat Satan. You see, Satan comes in different ways. He's a coward, so he's not going to show his face. Understood? He's going to come at you in a disease. Again, attack you with your finances. He'll come at you with another person. But he's not going to show his face. He's a coward. So how do you defeat Satan? If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can speak to the mountain and tell it to move. Satan's that mountain. You tell it to move. God gave you the authority in that verse. In that very verse, he gave you that authority to speak to the mountain. You don't cower down to this mountain, okay? We all have mountains that we're dealing with. Satan attacks you in so many different ways. You have to be bold and speak to it. Do not allow Satan to creep in to not only your home and your church and all these things that we just talked about, but the number one place you can't let him creep into is your mind. The second that you let him in, here, in your mind, it's over, guys. He'll corrupt you in so many ways. You have got to be bold and confident. Jesus didn't die on the cross to keep us safe. He died on the cross to make us dangerous. Y'all get that? We're not supposed to be sitting back and lazy Christians and watch our brothers and sisters go through these battles and struggles and not do something about it. And let me tell you, if you step up and you fight in those situations, they'll come fight for you when you need it. I have no doubt in my mind, no doubt, that if something that I needed prayer for came up. I'm gonna t <laughs> I don't think I can make a group text message that large. I think they'll cut me off. Isn't it like 25 or something like that? I got more than 25 brothers and sisters that I know have that boldness and that confidence. That's who we have to surround ourselves with and that's who Chris surrounded himself with today. Hey guys, thanks for watching us on YouTube. If you could, take the time to hit our subscribe button down below so you can check out all of our new content that's coming up.